Well, guys, here in Chicago, the NBA Combine is off and running. We appreciate Hornets GM Dell Demps inviting us into, I guess, the Hornets suite for a sneak preview of the Hornets mindset into the NBA draft. Appreciate your time. Uh, a lot of people are saying the worst NBA draft in recent memory, maybe the worst NBA draft of all time. Is that fair? <laughs> I don't know if that's fair. Uh, I think there are some solid players, and you can never really judge a draft until – two, three, four years after the fact. You know, there's, there's been some times people think it's a great draft and the guys aren't that good. And you got some drafts where, you know, you got LeBron, Wade, Bosh, you know. So I think you just wait and see after a few years. But I think there are some guys in this draft that contribute and help teams win games. You guys don't select until the second round, pick number 45. Uh, you can tip your hand to us if you want, but could you move into the first round? Is that a possibility? Anything's possible with us. You know, we're, we're an aggressive group. We're going to always look for opportunities to make the team better. Uh, if we identify a guy that we, we think can help us win games, you know, we won't, we won't hesitate. Is it exciting because you and Monty Williams did so many good things in year number one, but this is your first draft together. Uh, what's your priority and what's your mindset going in? Um, you know, right now, if things stay in place, you know, we want to find guys that can fit into our system that can help us win games. Uh, so we really look for best player available. I think we have a lot of positions that – we can fill in our roster, and we want competitive guys that can come in and, you know, just make the organization better as a whole. You know, it's really important to us to get high-character guys, uh, guys that are defensive-minded. And also, you know, we want good basketball players. All right, now we're inside the Hornets suite here in the Western in downtown Chicago, and uh, Dell's been kind enough to kind of take us inside the process. Let's say I'm a, a nice shooting guard from the University of uh, Florida, and you're interviewing me. What kind of questions do you ask me? You know, we watch so much tape on guys. We really break it down. And, you know, I, I got to admit, I stole a little bit from John Gruden yeah. uh, when he does his pieces on TV. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I, sometimes I really go at guys, you know, like, you know, let's say, you know, you're a guard from the University of Florida, right? And I said, you know, I was at the game, you know, it was my son's birthday. I missed my son's birthday. I come down to the University of Florida. My flight's delayed. I barely get to the game. And you go one for 14. My wife's mad at me. My kid's mad at me. And you go one for 14. What was going through your mind during that game? Man, you know, I came all the way down there to watch you play. Tell me what was going through your mind that game. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Would that work? <laughs> you should see some of the looks on some of the kids' plays. Or, you know, like, or, you know, sometimes we play with the guys and, you know, just kind of see how they are. You know, you, like, you know, you said to me, like, you know what? They're saying this is the worst draft in the history of the NBA. And you're a big representation of that. Tell me your thoughts on that. <laughs> so how do you how do you handle pressure? How do you handle different emotions? You see these guys on tape, you see them practice, but you want to really see them one on one. Yeah, we you know, we want to talk to them. Like you know, we want to have a good locker room. We want to have guys that can come in and you know sometimes you know laugh at themselves, but also know that this is serious. And so sometimes you know we ask guys like you know at the end of the game, you know it was ten seconds ago in the game, you got the ball and you took a terrible shot. And I was like you know if you did that, what's Chris Paul going to say to you? You know if you take that shot. You know, David West, he's been in the NBA for 10 years. You know, he's busting his butt up and down the court. He's wide open, and you take that shot. What, what do you think he's going to say to you? <laughs> so you could have a range of emotions. Some guys may, may have tears. Some guys may want to storm out of the room. And some oh. guys may want to take that challenge. And that's the kind of guy you like, I'm yeah. sure. We, we, we just want to see how guys react in different situations. Because in, in the NBA, guys are going to come at you, you know, in the locker room. You take a bad shot. You know, it's not like in college sometimes where, you know, you're the superstar. And, you can do what you want. You know, you got vets in there that's going to hold you accountable. If a Mecca Okafor comes and sets a great screen and he rolls, he's wide open, you shoot over two guys, you're going to hear about it, you know. And so we want to make sure we let these guys know. But, you know, most of the time these guys are good guys. And sometimes it's tongue-in-cheek, but sometimes it's serious. But sometimes we say, hey, you know, we got a real concern. And we, we really want to address those, those issues in the interview. So these are the questions right here. Yeah. We're inside the uh, – Hornet Suite here at yeah, NBA Combine Central. I'm not going to read these, but you read those because you know the, the 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 Rockets or the Spurs or somebody might be listening. And so this is this is high tech. You know this is highly confidential. You know now that you've seen it, we're going to have to take you in the back and erase your memory. There you go. <laughs> well, for five minutes I was a shooting guard for the University of Florida. This was a good experience. I appreciate you taking the time and the best of luck in the NBA draft. All right, thanks a lot. All right, here in Chicago, I'm Mike Neighbors for CST Tonight.